gentlemen, it's time for us to put our heads together and publish a new ORC codex. And I have to tell you, I'm very excited to hear all about the exciting new innovations you've come up with since the last codex. Holy crap, is that today? Oh, we're man. totally bound. Are you telling me we don't have any new ideas for the ORC codex that we're supposed to send to the publishers this week? Uh, no, no, of course we do. Yeah, yeah, we got something. Uh, how, how about an orc with a machine gun? Go on. Uh, uh um, uh, an orc with a flamethrower? Are you asking me or telling me? Uh, an orc with a flamethrower? I like. I like a lot. An orc with a bigger machine gun? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the kind of thinking that gets promotions around here at Games Workshop. Keep up the good work, gentlemen. Oh, and, and you, Gretchen. You can stop, he's gone now. d d is morally deficient. The dragon, what dungeons and dragons. It's spiritually corrupt. It is educationally evil, it teaches evil, and it is potentially dangerous. Amazing monsters, far out gate. Now I am making your silver pants blue. Welcome back to another miniature mashup. Today I'm going to talk about the Orc Codex and what I don't like about it. And uh, not just me, there's a lot of people out there who aren't really happy with their Orcs right now. Probably because they are the least competitive faction in 40k at the moment. And that's not all, they're also the faction with the least amount of variety. Look at the world of monsters and unit types you get with Tyranids or Eldar or Empire especially. And then compare it to Orcs where everything is basically an orc with a different weapon. The fact is, no faction has as many weaknesses as orcs do. I mean, yes, Tyranids are terrible against armor, Tau can't fight in hand-to-hand, -hand, and that's really about it. Orcs are terrible shots, their armor is bad, they have trouble with armor, their vehicles are junk, they don't have very good psychers, they're, they've only got a couple of weapons with a range longer than 36 inches. All I'm saying is there's a lot of room for growth in the next Orc Codex, especially when you compare them to newer codexes like Necrons and Eldar, where everything they have is super effective. So here's a list of what I'd like to see in the new Orc Codex. Number one. Vehicles that are more than just junkyard versions of Imperial vehicles. Part of the Orc Fluff states that they can make technology work that has no right working because of their psychic energy fields that exist around them. On the tabletop that's only ever shown to be wacky mech guns that shoot different kind of energy beams. And personal force fields. But why can't this mean unconventional vehicles, stuff that might not be practical in real life but would look great on a 40k tabletop? How about an orcish version of the Skaven Doom Wheel? Or take that design and turn it on its side and use it two different ways. One could be a large spinning blade vehicle where orcs try to run into units of guys and cut them in half. Another could be a vehicle with a series of wrecking balls along the side on a motor that spin around and knock out enemies and tanks. It'd be another great way for orcs to try to get through armor. Uh, we know that Wrecking Ball is pretty effective when it hits. Well, how about a vehicle with motorized Wrecking Balls giving them four shots at armor, maybe even getting to reroll because the balls are spinning around so fast. Another kind of vehicle I'd like to see is uh, something with a large psychic amplifier for Mech Weird Boys. You know, imagine a tank with a Mech Weird Boy sort of strapped to the top of it and a huge cone weapon or some kind of array uh, coming out of a wire to his head and just giving him a much higher Psyker rating than two. You know, let's give orcs something. Uh, how about, you know, the potential to have some really good Psykers. Now, if they make, you know, if they fail their deny the witch roll, maybe the vehicle blows up. Something like that happens. Or um, maybe all the vehicles blow up. I don't know. So we can do something to balance out, it out to make it feel more orky. But I think bikes and trucks are great, but it's time for orcs to get their own flavor of vehicle as well and they just don't have it now. Number two, orcs mounted on large beasts. Forge World already puts out the Great Squiggoth, and it's massive, but surely there's something else like that orcs can ride that's a little bit smaller, maybe something the size of a juggernaut. Or if Games Workshop doesn't feel like making new models, how about some rules for orcs riding Carnifexes? I mean, we know orcs can take out Tyranids pretty easily because they're an entire army based on anti-infantry, and that's all that Tyranids really are. How about once in a while when orcs destroy a cluster of Tyranids, they grab some Carnifexes and uh, slap harnesses on them. When you think about orcs in Warhammer Fantasy, they had access to so many monstrous creatures, and now in 40k, none. 
I would settle for seeing them on some other type of dinosaur creatures like the Squigoth as well. I understand that traditional non-demon cavalry has never been great in 40k, but maybe we could give orcs something of their own flavor, maybe some kind of beast that's made out of rock or something that they can ride around on. Maybe it's a little bit slower but tough enough to get orcs where they need to go and add an extra attack or two in melee combat. Number three, more cybernetics. Now orcs in the fluff can have all kinds of cybernetics. Their bodies naturally take to it. They don't worry about infection. Uh, but you never see that many different kinds. It's always the little brain plate with the eye or uh, the claw, if the claw's even attached, the power claw. How about giant mechanical spider legs or wheels for legs? How about getting giving orcs some way of getting over uh, difficult or dangerous terrain quickly or across the board quickly? I'd love to see orcs on giant mechanical spider legs wielding long spears so that they're sort of a specialized melee unit that can kind of charge in very quickly and be very difficult to dispatch, perhaps because they can stay you know, out of the range of their opponents uh, you know, by lifting their bodies above and uh, attacking with long spears. Maybe you have to reroll sixes to, against them. Something like that. Some sort of creativity with, with the cybernetics for orcs because right now it's just the same thing over and over. You know, the classic game Rifts from Palladium had full conversion Borgs as a character class. And what a full conversion Borg was, was just a human brain, or I guess any kind of intelligent brain inside an uh, entire cyborg body. And Orcs used to have a thing called Tin Boys, which were robots back in 40k. Why not bring the Tin Boys back as full conversion Borg? Toughness 6, 2 power claws, and we'll be back special rules might be nice for that. Number 4, Better Bomb Squigs. Right now, for some reason, tank buster units are only allowed three bomb squigs, and and they're treated as a weapon, a short range weapon, 18 inches, instead of a, um, a a model. If you make them a model, it becomes far more orky because you have you can have this dog thing running around on the board. You can have this dumb squig that maybe you bring back the old stupidity rules for as a chance to start to get distracted. What gives the, um, your opponents the chance to fire on it, if it's a real model, uh, blow it up near you, you know, and that's that's just orky. But orcs know they're terrible shots. Uh, the number one way of, of disabling tanks should be the bomb squig. In fact, it kind of is if you, if you play. Um, people always want more of them. So the type of mines they have are contact mines, meaning they're, they're not on a timer or anything, so that sort of 18-inch range is is completely arbitrary I and mean, this is how most orc armies I would imagine would would do it uh, is just let the their squigs loose at the beginning of battle let them run across the battlefield and if they you know the ones that make it make it the ones that don't blow up I'd like to see every orc unit have bomb squigs not just tank busters number five orcs of corn yeah this is a thing there used to be storm boys of corn once upon a time and i've actually seen orc armies with a corn theme i know orcs already have their own gods but surely somewhere in the vast 40k universe there's an orc that was tempted by corn at some point i mean recently we've been given graphics of orcs with what appears to be the mark of nurgle some sort of plague demon orc i'd love to see a special character in the next orc codex that is some kind of orcish priest of corn and when you feel this character orcs and chaos get to treat each other like battle brothers that's marines demons and orcs all in one force and thematically i mean doesn't that feel right doesn't it feel i mean if you've played world of warcraft you know you're used to seeing demons and orcs uh and evil knights all kind of together fighting on one side it's not really that big of a stretch right now battle brother wise i don't think there's a lot to be gained for orcs and chaos and trading leaders into different squads How However, Orcs with the Mark of Corn and Orcs with the Mark of Nurgle would be amazing. Similarly, I'd like to see 40k take a page out of Warhammer Fantasy and allow Dark Eldar to take Orcs as combat slaves. You know, in Fantasy, Dark Elves had Orcs in their troops and they were slaves because if you enslave Orcs in either setting, the only way you can use them, you're not going to use them to be your butler. That'd be fine. It'd be another way to see Orcs in play. Uh, another way to incorporate different armies. Well, that's my top five list for things I'd like to see in the next Orc Codex. Thanks for sticking around and watching Miniature Mashup. Hey, maybe in the next episode there'll actually be some miniatures. I've got opinions about 40k and they're not more important than yours. But I've got a web show on the YouTube so it kind of seems like they are.